Hey guys, so this is uh, the first video in a series of uh, videos in which we're going to create together a web server in Golang. And uh, now to do that, we're going to use a library called Echo. And in this first video, we're just going to create from scratch a simple, simple uh, web server. And you're going to see how easy this is to do in uh, Echo. And then in the next videos, we're going to step by step slowly go through most of echo functionality uh, like uh, most of the http request uh, crude uh, structure uh, middlewares cookies uh, headers manipulation and stuff like that and at the end of the series we're going to have a, a full-blown uh, server which is scalable and can be used uh, for a real life application so let's start. So first let's create uh, our project. Uh, let's create, let's call it echo example. And inside of it create an SLC folder and the main folder. Let's cd into it. Now let's create our first uh, Go file, the main one. Oops. Let's call it main Go. Let's open the whole thing in WebStorm. I use WebStorm, you can use whatever ID or uh, text editor you want. Okay, now let's uh, go to the main file and create a simple hello world. Um, code just to see everything is working packages main import let's get uh, the fmt package to print stuff create the main func and print uh, let's say uh, uh, Yeah, something like that. Save it. Go to uh, the terminal, export the uh, Go path because I'm not using a, a single Go path in my project. And let's build the whole thing. and right cool it's working so now let's go to uh, the echo website and let's uh, take the name of the package copy it and get it to our project cool now let's import it uh, to our main file, save it. <coughs> oh, I see it didn't finish downloading it yet, so let's give it a second. Cool. Yeah, now it's here, and now let's uh, change it to. something like this and uh, now the first thing we need to do is to uh, uh, create an echo object so let's call it an E and just and create it next thing we need to give it uh, our first uh, uh, path so we're going to use get it will be on the root and the second parameter is a function which gets uh, echo context and returns an error so oops uh, we will return 
a simple string code 200 and it will say something silly like that and it's better than uh, to use a setup codes and not a uh, number so let's get uh, sorry net HTTP which is a native uh, Golang package comes with the language and let's use uh, HTTP status OK which is basically the number 200 but uh, this is less uh, error uh, less uh, chances we get an error it's much readable and it's better way to do it sorry about that it's my phone uh, let's build the thing and let's run it oh yeah <laughs> of course and I forgot to start the server so the last thing we need to do it's to start the server and pass it a string which is the port we want to use and uh, let's build it again sorry and let's run it now perfect it runs um, is it yeah looks like it's running right so let's go and try it And it is running perfectly. So one last thing I want to uh, change here to finish this video up is the fact that uh, it's better not to pass uh, the full-blown function inside of it like this, uh, but to define it uh, outside as a function because it's it's getting messy very very quick quickly and. I would prefer to do something like this and just pass the, fun the function itself like this because um, all the methods are getting also besides of the function they are getting uh, middleware functions uh, and you can put really a lot of them here and it's getting messy very very quickly so this is much more uh, pretty way to do it and obviously this will work the same so if we turn off the server uh, we build our binaries run it again and reload uh, we have the same thing so this is the end of the first uh, video uh, as i said before this is a very 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 simple uh, example but we're going to build on this example in the next videos and uh, we'll discover some interesting stuff about echo uh, library and we cool we build some cool uh, server so thanks for watching and join me in my next videos bye bye